I know this is Nintendo 14 playthrough on Star, er, not Star Fox 64, but Paper Mario uh, 1, yeah, Chapter 3, Part, uh, uh, oh my god, 5, and the uh, last parts. We made our way up to Temple Blubba's Castle in this part. We have to go back for one last thing before we face the Temple Blubba. I just accidentally hit hit that uh, cleft right there. So, there's one thing that we, once we, once we immediately get the spin jump, or the, the spin jump boots, uh, there's something you can do in the Toad Town, so I have to go all the way back there. Ooh, this is, is that? I want to, want to get that. But yes, uh, once you get all that, uh, there's uh, a certain thing that you can do in the Toad Town once you get the spin jump boots. So I'll meet you guys all the way back there once I can get over there. Ah, uh, oh, uh, that's creepy. Okay, I didn't know it was creepy right now, but yeah, on the way back, uh, you know, in the Forever Forest, you know, the, as soon as you get back here... And you're gonna come across this this guy again. <laughs> Thank you, I mean, ah, uh, what do you mean? Ah, well, you should be thanking us. Look at this place. You, people could die here, and write creepy posts about about it. And you, just, just just why you choose? You, you, did you just know that we were coming here? You just just I got, I got like question here. So uh, the way that you get out of the forest, all you gotta do is just take the wrong path and. It'll lead you back to the beginning and, you know, you just uh, go back and that's all there really is. That's Student Trooper. Can't get enough of this guy, can we? This time he's able to fly with those uh, wings that he somehow got. Maybe he got bitten by a vampire. Magic Speed 40, Attack Power 5, Defense Power 1. Apparently he's grown wings and he's trying to... He's trying to take notes on our attack, so he's just trying to make it harder and harder just to try and... Try and beat. Uh. Maybe he'll get there pretty soon. But uh, that means we can't use our hammer that we got in Chapter 2. So we gotta use the, the jump value that we just got. So let's just uh, make use of that power jump. Why not? Luckily, uh, we got that start attack, start base. Uh, once, as long as the, the first base, I guess, is like... As long as that is over at least... Uh, at, least have, at, le at least have a base of 2, then... The rest uh, should be in one, so that's that's always great. So like, you know, I can do power bounces even though, even though he has a defensive one. I'm just trying to focus here on these power bounces because I need all of them. And I think that was a cap right there. Fortunately, this guy is going to deal like five, five damage, which is not really that great. Uh, I think now would be a good time to use a refresh, and uh, the rest from there could be just super mushrooms, because. Obvious, or uh, I guess obviously, but yeah, this boss is intended to be after chapter three. But you know, from where we're at, we're just just about to end chapter three, so I don't think we're really under leveled for this battle. Just have to hang, hold off here, because you know we do have some low HP, because we don't really rank up our HP that much only twice. All right, let's just whittle him down with the power bounce a little. When we're ready, we'll use Gumbario with this charge attack. Maybe we'll use him on the next turn. I totally messed that up again. Right, we'll charge one more time, and that should uh, take out about half uh, half of Junior Trooper's uh, HP. So I'm going to use a power jump here, right here, and hopefully I don't think it would. This should do it, but let's see how much uh, we can do with Gumbario's charge. Oh, set 14. That's pretty good. Oh, that's right, that's a good idea. All right, that's good. That's a good timing because we don't have to take too much damage. See, we took zero damage. Thanks for that uh, increased. Uh, go for one more power jump, just to be on the safe side. Or actually, I didn't need, need to do that, but, you know, why not? Now we're able to finish him off, just with Gumbario. Oh. Actually, that that was a good call, using that power jump. Because Gumbario didn't have enough, and what? 99 star points, you kidding me. No, that's that's not acceptable. I'm getting to a battle right now. Or actually, I don't think I, I can. Maybe... This guaranteed that I'm going to have to accidentally get into one battle. So I might as well just... Uh, or there's one right here. Give me my one star point. Hooray, those four star points just gave us enough just for that one level up that we we're one star point away from. I could go ahead and use uh, use on badge points because, you know, I remember that there was a certain badge or a certain set of badges that I wanted to equip and, you know, they're a little pricey when it comes to all that. Right, so with that sign right in front of us, we can just go back. And then there's Junior Troopa right there. Kiss the ground. He can 
be a somewhat of a little good boy, just be thankful for any, everything. And you know, now that all that's done, let's just finally get to back get back to where we need to go. Oh. What do you have a dream about, Merlin? Alright, so he's just standing outside like this, just being all depressed. Okay, so he has a red palm tree. In the distance of Dredge Outpost. Something good would happen. Well, if we get around to doing that, we'll, we'll do that for you. So, until then, just stay in your house and never come out of it, because we're never going to see you ever again. Not until a very long time, though. Alright, we're finally, finally getting to where we need to go. You know, the reason why we went back to Toad Town, not based on Blubber. You go into the pipe, and, you know, you meet, you go, to, you go back to Mario's house. And there's no sign of Luigi anywhere. Maybe if he's, he's in his house. Alright, let's just check it out here. No, why, why is there music, music notes coming out of the, out of the floor? That's, that's not right. Especially with that uh, misaligned, uh, misaligned floor, floorboard. I don't like it. I'm gonna spin jump it. Who's down here? Oh, it's Luigi. Hi, Luigi. I wonder how old Mario's doing on this quest. You have a diary, Luigi? Darn, Luigi. <laughs> How'd you find this place? Ah, you look pretty obvious. Something in this desk. Wonder what was on the desk. Yeah, so this is... You can only trigger this after... If you ever decide to just... Go straight back to Mario's house after you get the spin, spin, spin jump boots. Not many people uh, tend to do this, but hey, it's there. It's a little Easter egg, I guess. And uh, that's that. All right, now to go all the way back to where we initially stopped in the last video. Oh, that's going to take forever. Along the way, look what we got. We got the best badge you can ever get. The speedy spin. Yes. Glad you have this. Yes, I will buy the ever-living crap out of it. Yes. Now we equip this badge. Where is it? There it is. Come here. Speedy spin. You're mine. Oh, might as well just put, put, on, put on spikes. You never know what could happen. Alright, now we got the speedy spin. Look how fast we're going. Yes. Now that we got this badge, I don't think I'll ever just got, get rid of it. Because just look at how fast we go with the speedy spin badge. A lot faster with just the regular spin. Anyways, back to, to Bubba's castle for real this time. You know what? When I cut away from this part, I was using the wrong method to get this item. Use Cooper. Dumb me. Not, don't use Pear Carry. You can't make that. And it looks like I don't have any room in my space. I'll just uh, screw it. Screw the honey syrup. I don't need it. You can't even get that many, that much coins off it if you sell it. Alright. Finally made it all the way back here just to mess with Luigi and his secrets with the diary. Not really worth it if you ask me. But you know what, let's just go forward and actually start this video. Oh, I have so much footage that's going to get cut off. Ooh, I earned this dining room table. Looks really big. Looks like uh, someone would say fee fi fo fum in this area. What? Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, I hit the car. I didn't hope the mic didn't, didn't hear that, but yeah, it doesn't sound like anyone could be here. Oh, wait, no. Tub blubber. It could be the guy who says fee fi fo fum or, or you can change all the Fs and just turn it to C. And that guy, that last guy that was named, haha, <laughs> he would have a very embarrassing name, shall we say. Okay, so he's gonna sleep. And like, what if, what if I'm curious? What if? No, I don't. I don't want to do it. Just blow up a bomb right, right when he's sleeping. I'm just gonna open this chest instead. Hello, I'm Yaki. Faithful ch chatty follower of Master Tub Blubba. He's just a talking key. Wonderful. As if uh, we needed talking objects. And now nah, this guy. Eh. I gotta be honest, or we can just lie. I wanna lie. You're a terrible liar. <laughs> a thief. Oh. If you say yes, then he's like, you're you're an honest person. That's really. Oh, this is a variation in the dialogue, really. Now I gotta run. Uh-oh. Eh. Just run. Run away. Uh-oh. Thought there would be some dialogue where he woke up. But no. There he is, right there. Oh. That was like the mad chase. Oh, jeez. Now he just broke his house. Broke the upstairs. He's so fat he can be able to do that. 
That's why fat people don't own mansions, especially with higher floors. And that took very long just to collapse. Alright. I gotta run for our freaking lives. No, I can't go that way. Alright. So, yes, he's, he's gonna be able to open doors and just chase us. I think uh, the, the game scripted a path for him, so he chases us. But other than that, when, when he gets close to us, he's pretty much the same thing as uh, his uh, AI, I guess. He's, he's just like uh, him. He, he's like, oh, I'm trying to say here. He's just like when you uh, encountered him before you, uh, you got to that save block that we ended the video on. At last, these boos are going to actually stand up to him. They're going to be like Pikmin. Fight, fight uh, life forms that are that they're prey to. You know, the, the fight people or the, the fight little enemies that that usually eat them. They're really troopers. That's like saying a, a rabbit is gonna is gonna try and fight a tiger. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a real smart idea. So we got the weak point. We got the key. I, I think we can go all the way back there. That you know, that's we saw it locked, but you know, we didn't know what the key was for. I think that's what my, the key might be. So we gotta go all the way through there, through the Gusty Gulch Village, and back to that windmill that was right in front of Boo's Mansion. So let's go ahead and do that. Luckily, these Boo's are gonna help us out by blocking the door here. So we sh th that shouldn't be an issue for us. Or Tub Bubba shouldn't be an issue for us. I don't think uh, at this point he won't he won't uh, chase you any anymore because the because of the Boo's right there. So you're free to just. Uh, uh, so if, if you want to, you know, backtrack and kill all these enemies if you really want to. Me, personally, I wouldn't. Make sure my HP is full already. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's just make the mad dash. I mean, we're just out speeding them. I think we can, like, make a lap. Like, make it all the way and back and still beat them. So, enough, uh, uh, bragging. Let's just open, open up this door with that magical key. I'm surprised he cooperated with us just to do that. And I think, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just go with Cooper because there's some enemies here. Like this one enemy that we must kill because it's not really any narrow openings to get around with. Like we already tattled it because, uh, you know, we, we tattled it all, all the way back when we fought the Paragoombas and thought that you would have to, you would have to bio it separately because of, you know, it's, it's a, it's a different enemy, I guess, a different variant of the enemy. But apparently that's not the case. I don't need to drive Shroom. Apparently the Goombas, Hyper Goombas seem to give, give us a lot, no issue allowed. You can't tell me what to do. I can, I can do this all I want. No, really, no issue allowed. Pretty sure if I fight that Hyper Goomba, it should give me one star point. No, not worth it. Absolutely no entry allowed. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. Well, I guess uh, you can keep me from switching partners. That's great. I should have went in here with a Goombario. That's a disadvantage on me and a mistake on my part. I thought there'd be another screen. All right, so let's spill the beans on some little weak, weak point. That's great. Whenever there's a secret, you know, whenever Bowser's minions have a secret, chances are Mario's gonna foil, foil that secret. And you know what? Let's tossle. Like it was from Drake and Josh. It's best. It's like the best Nickelodeon TV show ever. Still got canceled, or it got, not canceled, but it's discontinued in 2006. And there was a Christmas movie, but. Not counting that. I really miss that show. I, that show should have gone on a little bit longer. But not uberly long as like, you know, Spongebob did. Where it just kept on going after it made its first movie back in 2006. And it just made a season 4 and just keep, kept going. And just and just uh, just ran the show right to the ground. Just really, really bad. Alright, so we biled, we biled uh, Goombario. Or, we, we biled with Goombario. We have to... Defend with bow because you just use that charge attack, and you know charge attacks aren't really good because they deal more damage. And we're not gonna take the chance here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna let these things just attack the air because that that's what they're good at doing. Luckily, I don't have a. These are the only two attacks I have for jumping because hammer does not do anything. Maybe quick hammer does, but at this uh, at the moment it doesn't really do anything. So we just gotta use the power bounce here. Yeah, ah, as soon as I s said a little peep, that's why I went silent. Just to try and focus on this power bounce here. Uh, you might see me do that a lot. 
a lot later on in this playthrough, just uh, me going silent, just trying to focus on this power bounce because it's really worth it just to get the full effect because I'm not going to like waste 3 FP just doing one or two jumps with this. Fortunately, Bo's not going to be able to attack because of this charge attack, so I have to use her out of sight. Alright, looks like uh, the game might have kept us there. Felt like I, I did get the timing, but I uh, just uh, the game just decided to stop. Stop breaking the game with your power bounces. We don't like that. Alright, so we gotta use out of sight again. And in this turn, we should be able to attack with Bo. Uh, just keep on rocking with the power bounce. Oh, and yes. Give me that fortune. You're going down. I don't, I don't think... With this, I don't think we're going to... Bo's going to even... Yeah, I don't think... Oh, we, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, Bo's, Bo's going to be able to... Okay, six. Just at a random. Bo's going to be able to uh, attack after all. As he can survive one more power bounce. Oh, yeah, actually, then again... No, 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 I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong. All right. All right. <laughs> that was that was a lot easier. Just uh, all you gotta do is just if you're having trouble with those type of attacks, we have to push them left repeatedly. You can just like uh, hold the controller sideways and just use your index and middle finger, your right index and middle finger, and you know just and you can just uh, hit the button really fast. Yeah, fortunately he has three HP. Where's what do you mean? Ouch! Yeah, okay. Hurry, get out of here. What do you mean? We haven't... The battle's not over until your HP is zero. Come back here. I sure hope those... Ah, oh, no, those Goombas are back there. No, screw you, Goombas. Given two... Two cheap star points. Ah, dang it, I have to fight this one. Actually, this could give me an opportunity. Use Refresh here. You never know when you can use the extra... The extra... HP and flower points. See what I mean? Just those darn Goombas. They don't give you barely any 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 star points. So if you, next time you see a Goomba that's outside chapter one, don't bother. We gotta chase his heart down. No more battles. It's us and Tubba Blubba. That is if he's gonna show up. Or that heart. Whoever comes first. Okay, both. Time to reunite. And, and duel. But, uh, you know, Tubba Blubba, we can't fight him. Oh, wait, yes, we can. Because the heart, the heart, you know, the heart uh, circulates the blood, gets, gets you powerful, it makes you strong. Well, if you have a bad heart, you're weak. Maxi okay, so Tubba Blubba, the, the boss of Chapter 3, finally his true self. Magic Speed 10, Attack Power 4, Defense Power 0. Probably. His hip attack causes six points worth of damage. Because I'm not exactly sure what his other attacks could do. But I think it's definitely weaker than before. That is if you actually fight this guy before you actually get to this area. Because uh, if you do, he's in invincible. And let's see. I'm really hoping, yeah. He doesn't have any defense points. That's really good. Unlike in the first... Unlike if you encounter him for the first time. Oh, oh geez. That was a different attack. I was going to go for the jump, but he went the, for that. The Hulk smash thing. What? Hey, no worries. Not a thing. Except every little thing is going to be alright. With 30 star points. Oh, good. With my heart and body re reunited, I'm not invincible anymore. How does that make sense? Back to not invis invincible. I said invisible. Invincible. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of instances where people get get invincible and invisible mixed up. And I just did that myself. So yes, uh, when Tubba actually has a heart, then he's uh, actually not invincible. Just when he doesn't have a heart, he's invincible. Kind of makes sense because, you know, you got a heart, you're immortal. You're immortal. But if, if you don't have a heart, you're just like a uh, walking dead and you're Im immortal. Kind of makes sense a little. But here comes Bo out of our back pockets where you keep all the other party members. Just uh, just trying to be unique here. Trying to have two party members on the field. I like that. It's really cool. This game should have more of that. Maybe 
I sure hope Paper Mario, if they do make one for the Wii U, they need they need to uh, make some cutscenes where they show all party members. Not not like a uh, not like in the ending where you know they do that. I want to see like you know in 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 the middle of the the. I will say yes. We'll, we'll join. But yes, uh, during the main story, we should see cutscenes where all party members are on the field. That'd be really cool. I know Thousand Yudor did a little bit more of that in the game, or in in there, but uh, not really. Only uh, uh, on special occasions. I really like to see that though. Okay, so Bo just disappears. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, when you f when you finish off Top of Lobo without Bo in your party. Yeah, she just has uh, all that sorts. She doesn't uh, go back in your pocket like you know, like you know, like uh, this right here. That doesn't happen. She she, she just uh, disappears. Kind of weird. Kind of inconsistent if you th if you think think so about that. After solving the secret of the invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and party set free start spirit Skolar. Now with Tubba Blubba, just a bad dream, the boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Even the lo lovely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seemed to be celebrating the victory, at least for now. With newest party member Bo in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on the next challenge. And that's going to be it for this part. To next time for the Chapter 4 interlude as we're going to take on the Peach event because there's always one after in the end of each chapter. And, you know, see what awaits us when we return to Toad Town. So until then, see you guys later.